Hello everyone, my name is Doug Hills and I'd like to welcome you to this introductory video for installing the Ultimate and Superhero Brush Packs for Clip Studio Paint onto iOS devices. My goal with this video is to help you both download and install the packs all within the iOS operating system. If you choose to purchase and download the packs outside of iOS, you will just need to transfer these files to your device via the iCloud Drive or another cloud service that you have set up on your device. If you have not purchased your pack yet, simply head over to graphicsly.com, select add-ons from the main menu, and select either Ultimate Brush Pack or Superhero Brush Pack. Then just go through the steps needed to purchase your copy of either pack. Once you receive the email with the link to download your packs, click on the link and you will be brought to this page. Click on the download button, and you may have to wait a little bit before it is downloaded. And once downloaded, you'll see this page pop up. And this is what shows up on the Gmail app. This may look a little different depending on the email app of your choice on your device. Click on more and then click on save to files. Then choose the location you would like to save your file. In this case, I'm going to save it on my iCloud drive, though I also have the option to save it directly to my iPad or any of my other cloud services that I use, like Google Drive or Dropbox. Then I will just press save. Next, I open up the files app and I navigate to the location where I've saved my files. I click on the zip file to unpack it, and I open up the folder. Now you can see there are several options here for both Clip Studio Paint brushes and Photoshop brushes. We'll click on Clip Studio Paint, and you can see the set of folders for each subset of brushes that are available in this pack. We'll go with inking, for example, and you can see a list of all the brushes that are available, as well as a JPEG image that will give you a preview of what each brush does. Next, I open up Clip Studio Paint. And now I lift the toolbar up and now I'm going to dock the Files app to the right hand side of my screen. And I have currently have my desktop set on a minimal screen so I'm going to bring up my Subtools palette and my Tools palette by selecting from the main menu Window Tool and Window Subtool. I've selected my inking brushes so I'll switch to the Pen Tool and I will bring in my first brush. I'll select Dry Inker as an example, and all I'm going to do is just tap on Dry Inker, and it brought it right over to my Pen Subtool palette. Because I would like to keep them separate from the other brushes I have imported, I'm going to create a separate tab for my imported superhero brushes. So I'm going to click on the Dry Inker Subtool, and I'm going to drag it to a new location. I'll select that, rename this, Settings of Subtool Group, and I'm going to rename this Superhero Pack. From here, I could click on each individual brush, but instead I'm going to transfer all the brushes over in bulk. I click on Select, and I'm going to select each of the other brushes, and I'm going to drag them over to the Subtools palette. And that's it. iOS makes it very easy to transfer brushes from your Files app over to Clip Studio Paint. All that you have to do from here is repeat for each of the folders and each of the brushes that you would like to bring into your copy of Clip Studio Paint. And with that, I'll wrap up our video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, and I hope you found it useful. And I really hope you'll enjoy playing around with both the Ultimate Brush and Superhero Brush Packs for Clip Studio Paint presented by Graphicsly. My name is Doug Hills, and I'll see you around.